in this discussion you can see available special commands in Odoo and today we will just going to overview what is special commands and how many commands are available and what is the purpose of those commands in case you missed previous discussion about dynamic filter for the mini to one field please check link is given in description so you can see here like uh, this is our last discussion like you can apply domain for the sub fields plus you can also return a dynamic domain using python method also you can use simple filter for the mini to one field using domain attribute in python side as well as in xml side if you want to learn more about odoo you can just go to in this playlist and you will get the specific topic wise playlist is available this is the main playlist odoo version 13 and version 14 development and soon will start a development of version 15 also so if you want to learn about cli commands you can just use this playlist if you want to know more about available and supported fields in odoo you can use this one and if you want to learn more about core methods with how you can also inherit what is the purpose of each method you can use this playlist you can also use this playlist especially the models attribute and this last one is odoo examples there are a few examples is available and the last and uh, last time we finished this odoo data files here you can create your own dummy records using csv file as well as in xml file you can also create actual records so here you don't need to create manually records but yes odoo provides feature like over there you can create your data using csv file and xml file after that there is a two playlist is available editor related playlist and another is a python related tips like here you can see in this playlist you will get a uh, real test cases for example how you can merge a split pdf file how you can create a read xml file then after csv file you can read create and like you can just compile your c programming file using python language then after you can just parse your json file in python side download any images using url in python side so all those test cases is available you can also get source code here in this link the github if you have any query you can also shoot your email to this email id okay so let's back to our main topic like what is special commands well right now i'm not talking about any cli commands like minus u or minus d minus r or like add-ons path so this is not a special command so those are a cli commands like command line interface but this special command is widely used for only two relational fields like one to many and many to many while doing any operations if you want to create or update or delete any records then this command is very useful might be you can see also uh, these commands right like while creating or updating parent module so that time you you can see such type of commands like 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so total 7 command is available in these 7 commands each have a different purpose so let's see how we can use these commands for example uh, let me give you one more example here say i'm creating a sales order in sales order like sales dot order is a parent model and sales dot order dot line is the child model of the sales dot order model right so here i'm just trying to create a new sales order along with few sales order lines so while creating sales order at that time odoo automatically use this first command to create a sub models record so that time we can use this 0 comma 0 command but don't confuse here i will show you real test cases so in your mind you have to just focus about only this seven commands and what is the purpose like for example if you want to create a new record in parent model then you have to use this 0 comma 0 command then after if you want to edit the child record from the parent record that time you can just use one comma id id means that existing id whatever you want to update so that time you can use this second command 
then after this two comma id this will use while you will delete the record from the relational field and auto automatically use this command while you delete any one to many line that time this command you can see in right method of the parent model we will see this one also then after and yes uh, for this two comma id is permanently removed from the database after that you can see the fourth command this is three comma id if you want to delete the record but not a permanent that time you can use this command this three comma id so that's the main difference between this two comma id and three comma id two comma id will remove permanently from the database and uh, this three comma id remains the same like it won't be delete from the database from the table but it will unlink from the current record set so the fifth command is four comma id if you want to add the existing id in specific one to many field that time you can just use this four comma id after that like if you want to remove all the records from one to many field that time you can just use five comma false so that means like all the lines will be delete but it won't be delete permanently in the database it will only just unlink for the current record set that's it but it is available in table and the last one is six comma false comma you can see here list of IDs this is widely used if you want to override or if you want to add many to many field that time this will help because here six comma IDs it means like it will override the specific IDs given in this list it will override that many to many field so I hope you understood this seven commands and let me give you some overview not all like how Odoo is working with these special commands. Let's see some examples. Uh, let me go to in front end side to understand more about the first view, and then after you can just easily understand these commands. All right, so I'm going to in school profile first, and you can see here. Let's say I open this Sunny Leon as a school name. You can see here this is one to many field school underscore list, and type is one to many and the model is school.profile and you can see here two students is available and the id unique id is this one so uh, this is our parent model and this is child model right now and if i'm going to here in student profile you can see here many to many field hobby and the type is many to many and the model name is hobby so we will try to see like how Odoo is working while creating or updating the model. So first I'm going to in school profile and I'm going to in PyCharm and just trying to inherit the create method. Okay, yeah, this is our school profile. Let me add here. override the create method school profile values after that like let me add here api sorry write method and the same for the student profile also so you will get idea okay it's available student right method wells values and print student create method wells 
okay all right so right now i'm not doing anything i'm just print the values of the create method and values of the write method in both models both model means the student profile for the student profile and for the school profile so let me restart the service first and I'm going to in front end side like I'm just trying to create a new school profile like some millions then after the euro and let me add here the school code and now you can see this is student profile uh, sorry yeah student profile you can see here school under school list and the type is one to many I'm just trying to create a student profile from the parent class sunny student 4300 then after like student one then after student two right now you can see you cannot see the id here right because this is not created permanently here so you will not get the database id once i will save then after you can see the id i'm just trying to save the record of the school profile but remember it's not always create school profile only but it will also create a one to many relational fields record but how the odoo will deal in backend you can see here using special command okay i'm just trying to go to in backend side oh okay so we have a lot of print statement right now so you can see school profile wells now you can see this wells and you can find out the school underscore list right and here you can see zero and then after don't worry about this virtual underscore nine two four it it will create automatically so you have to just remember here like whenever it's coming here like virtual underscore any id it means zero or false and then after you can see this dictionary so in this dictionary we used sunny under the we used student name then after student fees right then after you can see the another uh, another student we also added right like stu sunny student one then after you can see here sunny student so all three records created from the school profile using like this way like school underscore list is the field name and then after you can see list in main list you can see the sub list and sub list provides three things like here zero comma this is we have to treat as a zero then after comma and then after the dictionary dictionary means the wells so this is like how odoo is dealing with the create method after that like let's see for example if i'm going to here okay now you can see we have a database id like 292293294 right now i'm just trying to delete 293 id which is sunny student one now i'm just trying to save oops we have a constraint error uh, okay somehow it will create a double entry okay so let me comment this one and try to restart the service fast and again i'm going to here and first discard now you can see three student profile is available now i'm going to delete this middle of this middle record the id is 293 i'm just trying to save okay oh sorry the main mistake is this right instead of the right i just added is a create method sorry about that and now i'm going to here 
and first discard after that like let me delete this 293 id okay it's successfully deleted but let me go to in backend side especially in terminal you can see this one like school underscore list now you can see this four comma id four comma id and two comma id so here two comma id means it it will delete the record permanently and uh, the rest two ids will stay in the same model in the same record set so for the double confirmation we go to again in our chat so you can see two comma id it it means it will remove the record permanently and four comma id it means it will add the existing id in the specific record set right now odoo by default using while if you are doing any operations like this way if you try if you want to try you can just try with the account like if you just create a new invoice with the few invoice lines or if you install the cells or purchase you can just create a sales order or purchase order along with the some lines like purchase lines or sales lines and then after you can see the logs so you will get like 0 comma 0 then after you can also see the 2 comma id and you can also see the 4 comma id and for this 6 comma false we will see how odoo will use this command so let's back to the front end side okay so i'm going to here in student profile in student profile i'm going to open the student 5 and now you can see this hobby right now it's blank and you can see here like hobby underscore list is a field name and the type is many to many and you can see the model name is hobby now i'm going to click to this edit and trying to click like reading gym and singing and yoga i just selected these four records this four hobby and once i will save now you can see in backend side hobby underscore list after that you can see six comma false zero or false both are the same or virtual underscore id is also the same you have to treat as a zero or false so now you can see we selected four hobbies and each hobby have each unique id in table so you can see here like this so it will replace the existing hobby list with this id especially the many to many field and if i'm going to again in browser and trying to like uncheck any of the hobby and trying to save now i'm going to in terminal now you can see it, it will override only three records because it won't be delete the record like i mean the 37 it will only replace with the selected ids only so that's the main difference so you already understand right like how odoo is performing the special operations in which situations for the one to many and many to many all the test cases we will see upcoming sessions like for example if you want to create a new record using the first command how you can do it from your side like i will show you practically like all the seven commands so that's it for now in case you have any doubt or query related to the special commands please comment below and see you in next session